I see Gunblade and Fable playing off screen. You play the winner of that. Somewhere off in the distance, Brian is facing Dark Sim, and Straight Woo is waiting for an opponent. And that's where we're at right now. All right, so we have uh, Booty Warrior versus Sun Tzu. Yeah. Um, I believe. We have Fax versus Flacco. Yeah. We see lots of shines. I heard that's a good move. So I hear. Uh, I don't know why people use this so often. I think because um, they both have lasers, it, it stands to reason that the reflectors should uh, be the best move in the matchup. That's what I think. Yep. No, that's sad. Anyway, that was kind of a flubbed edge guard. You can edge guard Flacco pretty easily. And just grab the ledge, I guess. I mean, if, if he's far enough that the ledge is his only option, then obviously you can edge guard him easily. Yeah. Otherwise, he has like a million mix ups just like Fox. Mm -hmm. So, pretty dumb. Yeah. Alright, so these guys did play in doubles. Uh, Sun 2 and. His and his teammate Yuan beat Gunblade and War. So, you know what? That's the second. No, okay, all these, all these side Bs, all these spaces, side Bs are just working. You know, they're, I mean, like they're they're actually hitting their opponent and not I guess they're not punished. getting hot follow up. So whatever. Yeah. yeah, but really they should but be it's being like, punished. I'm gonna try to laser. I mean, uh, B War kind of did it on purpose, but like uh, Sun Tzu, he's been lasering, getting side Bs instead, and it's like, you know what? It still hits. It still hits. Yeah. Yeah, see, there we go. Now we're starting to see him being punished. Shine back air, and Sun Tzu is finding himself down a whole stock, so. He didn't get anything going. Tries to dash in his grab, but uh, Sun Tzu gets out of the way, so that's firing some lasers, and then uh, B War has to deal with it. Yeah, escape to a platform or something. Only 3% off of that, like, 10, 15 second exchange, so they're playing it pretty slow this game. Ooh, the shine spike, though. That's the problem with Firebird. On the, yeah. One of its many problems, so. Gotta be careful, but now. Yeah. Sun 2 is. These low tiers, man. Ooh, almost got shine spiked again. And misses the opportunity for a spike or anything. Wow. A lot of uh, questionable just full hops and into nothing from Sun 2 as well. I've seen that like two or three times. Wow, he reads that tech. Yeah. Doesn't matter, Flag was still living. He's a fast fall and we're in an FOD. Yeah. But um, just to secure his own death, he decides to fire a laser on his way out. Yeah. He does not seem happy about that, though. That unfortunate. Uh, aim the mouse. Okay, got it. Shine back. That shine spike and the unfortunate SD. Like, there we go. Two very quick deaths for Sun Tzu. So, you know, he's looking pretty defeated. So, hopefully, he can uh, come back. Sun Tzu, the art of war. Let's see if he can uh, teach us what he knows from his book that he wrote. Going to Pokemon Stadium, and I don't know if does this really favor Falco at all. Uh, dude, I don't know. I don't. I don't, I feel like it does not favor Falco really. So I'm kind of questioning this pick. You have the short ceiling. You have the ability to get uh, just Wave Shine comboed into the Rock formation, and I just feel like this is a uh, maybe not the best idea. Maybe he just feels comfortable on Pokemon Stadium, but. Shine, double shine. And he is not happy about that. Ooh, the jab reset falling up air. Yeah, that's right. He has the sun question mark tag on. This is two war. Nope, uh, manages to just slip in there. Yeah, I'm surprised. He threw out that down tilt. I thought it was going to hit. Alright, get up smash. 
I think that Sun Tzu was kind of pressuring his shield with shines, and then B War was like, no, I've got a shine too, so he shines out his shield. Yeah. So, like, uh, Questionable like, side B onto game. that windmill. And he's getting punished for it, I mean. Oh wow, he's using that reflector. But it, he's actually he using it, it what it's what it's it meant for. He's, yeah, he tried. Uh, we see yeah, he's off the edge again. Surprised he did not jump off and hit him with another shine like he did in the last game and oh, uh, you read that so finished that stock out. That's like if you got like a like a book assignment in English class and you're just like, you know what, I'll just read it a week before everyone else in the class. He definitely has him on lock. All these side Bs. Wow, and the self-destruct from Sun Tzu was... again. That's uh, one in each game. And oh, the, the, the are we are looking at a shine spike? We are. Oof. Just no, missed not. it. Wow. No, I don't know if that SD was like, him trying to do that really hard thing where you let go of the ledge and then side B back on it without jumping. Um, yeah. But if he did not self-destruct, this would be relatively even game, so... I'm telling you, if I didn't have the free ICs tag, I would have had the blip tag on for sure. Blip, blip. SSBN. Alright, Sun 2's off, and that's it. Firebird's not All getting right. it. And B War, B -war takes it 2 0 over Sun 2, and, and Sun, Sun 2, 2 finishes with a ninth place.